Hey, it's Jill again. I wanted to do a very quick video um, right now about uh, my insulin pump that I use for my Solucorta for to treat my Addison's disease. So very quick kind of video because I'm changing my pump, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. And I promise to probably do a little bit more of a structured video later. Um, but I'm here in Canada and I use, this is what a diabetic would use for insulin. Um, but instead of insulin, we put my Solucorta in there, uh, my steroids to treat my Addison's disease. And then it pumps 24 hours a day uh, throughout my body. Um, I've been on this for four years. Uh, for me personally, it was a game changer for me. Completely changed the quality of my life. Um, I didn't have to, I was taking hydrocortisone tablets about every three hours during the day um, to try to have some quality of life and it just was not cutting it for me. So um, I was lucky enough to be one of the first people in Canada to give this a shot and for me it's been amazing. So basically what I do when I change the pump, which is what I'm doing right now, this is Leslie by the way, she has a name, um, I have Solucortef vials. So there's 100 milligrams of Solucortef and each vial. So in an emergency situation, um, if I was going into crisis, this is what I would put in a syringe and have um, myself or someone inject into me to save my life. So instead we put this into the pump. So basically I mix these vials. Um, there's water up top, there's powder in the, in the bottom and I, I push them both together and that one just broke. So let me grab another one. I've never dropped one before and that one just smashed all over the floor. So I can show you now powder, water. Okay, I took the top off um, and I'm going to now show you exactly how I mix it. So, um, so here we go, we're mixing it. I have to just make sure that it's mixed all the way through, which is pretty simple and pretty easy. So they're both mixed and I will try not to drop them. Okay, so I take my syringe and I am just going to insert it into the vial, turn it upside down. I'm going to draw the hydrocortisone into the vial. So this is something I've been training my kids to do because in an emergency situation, if I can't do it, I need to rely on them to get this medicine into the syringe and then hopefully into my body. So we're filling it up to the three milliliter mark simply because the reservoir that I'm gonna use for the pump holds only three milliliters. So once this is mixed, it's only good for about two or three days anyways, and that's how long I'm, I'm gonna run the pump for. So here is the little reservoir. I'm just gonna put the syringe inside, and if you watch, I'm going to fill it up with as close to three mils as I can without doing too much, because if I do too much, the bottom will fall out. Okay, so then I simply unscrew the bottom. This is my tubing for my pump, okay? So I attach this, if you can see, on top of the reservoir. How am I doing here? Okay, so this now gets inserted into my pump. It simply twists in. So once it's into the pump, all I have to do is so load it. So I just hold down the button and what it's doing is it's taking a mechanism inside and it's coming up into the reservoir so that it is ready to push the hydrocortisone through the tubing and then eventually subcutaneously into my body, which I insert into my stomach. So, and then we hit next, um, I need to fill it. So now it's just taking the hydrocortisone, pushing the, the hydrocortisone through the tubing to make sure that I am ready to go. So I just watch for little droplets to come out the bottom. And as soon as I see little droplets there, I know I'm ready to go. But even if I miss them, it's not the end of the world. So this is a little plunger. So for what I use, it's called a quick set. Um, and this is just a handy dandy little device to insert this into my body. Okay, so I wear this 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. I try to change it as soon as possible because I have learned if I don't change it right away, it does affect my quality of life. Um, and it's just something I need to do. I need to be on top of as best as I can. So um, I am getting this all ready. So now it is ready. There's this little teeny tiny needle there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is there. How am I doing? There it is. Can you see it? So that's going to be inserted into my stomach. So I will kind of show you. Can you? I'm not too sure how much you can see here. Okay, so here we go. So I just go a couple inches from my belly button, try and find something that hasn't been beat up too much. So basically, since I've been on the pump, I'm just gonna remove, this is the old one, um, 
for four years. I did some math the other day since I change this every two to three days. Um, I think I've poked my belly about 450 times. So all I simply do is it goes in. I remove this. Okay, so I'm all attached. I'm wired in. I tell the pump that I'm all finished and it goes back to trying to be the best it can be for my adrenal glands. So basically this is trying to mimic my adrenal glands um, and we've programmed it throughout the day to give me different amounts of medication. Um, an emergency situation, I can go in here and um, give myself extra medication. I do prefer extra medication if I'm, I'm feeling off and I feel like I need more. I do feel um, I respond better if I take that extra through hydrocortisone tablets, so I stick to that. Um, but that's pretty much it. But stay tuned for more information about my pump. Um, and if you have any questions about it, please feel free to send me a personal message. I'll be back real soon. Bye for now.